Section 3.9, Related Rates. So sometimes the rate at which one quantity is changing is known, and we want to find the rate at which a related quantity is also changing. So our goal is to find an equation that relates the two quantities and then use the chain rule to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. So there are some guidelines for related rates that might help you solve these problems. First, read the problem carefully. Second, draw a figure and label all quantities that vary with variables. Three, find an equation relating the quantity with the unknown rate of change to the quantities whose rate of change are known. This may involve substitution. Four, differentiate both sides with respect to time. And then evaluate the derivative at the appropriate point. So example one, air is being pumped into a spherical ball so that its volume increases at a rate of 100 centimeters cubed per second. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the diameter is 50 centimeters? First thing to do is identify the given and the unknown. The rate of increase of the volume of air 100 centimeters is given and the rate of increase of the radius when the diameter is 50 is unknown. The important thing to remember is that rates of change are derivatives. So, in order to make a connection between the two derivatives, we must relate V and R. We can do this by using the formula of a sphere. Volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So now we can differ differentiate each side, and we're going to use the chain rule for that right side. So, once we differentiate this side, we get 4, because 4 thirds times by 3 is 4, pi r squared. Now we solve for the unknown, and we're left with dr dt equals 1 over 4 pi r squared dv dt. Now, plug in the numbers we found at the beginning and that are R in the right top corner. So if we put in R equals 25 and dv dt equals 100 in the equation, we obtain the following. Therefore, the radius of the balloon is increasing at a rate of 1 divided by 25 pi or 0 0.0127 centimeters per second. All right, example two. A ladder 10 feet long rests against a vertical wall. If the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall at a rate of one feet per second, how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the bottom of the ladder is six feet away from the wall? First thing, draw a picture. So here's my picture, x, y, and, t and 10 via my ladder. Now, I need to draw the picture with respect to the variables that I want to find. We know that dx dt is 1 feet per second, and dy dt is x equals 6. So I can plug in this information right here. So we're trying to find this. What is the rate at which this ladder is going? Now find the relationship between x and y. Now, I can see a relationship here. We know this is 10. Therefore, I can use Pythagorean theorem in this case. So x squared plus y squared equals 100, which is 10 squared. Now differentiate each side with respect to t using the chain rule. So we get 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 0. Now solve the equation for the rate we need. dy dt equals negative x, minus, x divided by y dx dt. Now we know when x equals 6, we can plug that in and we get 8 for the Pythagorean theorem, or you can remember that 6, 8, 10 is a Pythagorean triple. So we know that dx dt is 1, so now we can show that 6, negative 6 divided by 8 times 1 equals negative 3 fourths feet per second. Therefore, the negative means that the distance from the top of the ladder to the ground is decreasing. The ladder is going down. Next, it also says that the ladder is sliding down the wall at a rate of 3 fourths feet per second. That is it. We are going to practice more related rates in class.